Steroids can help you build a massive amount of muscle, increase your strength, and drastically speed up your recovery. So today, I wanna go over exactly what happens to the human body on steroids based on science. Now, the first thing you have to know is that not all steroids are the same. The term steroid refers to a biologically active organic compound with four rings arranged in a specific molecular configuration. So even a corticosteroid is still considered a steroid since it has the same kind of four ring structure and corticosteroids are considered relatively safe. They're even routinely prescribed by doctors to help lower inflammation in the body caused by things like swelling due to an injury, allergic reactions, and even asthma. Although many of you probably already know about corticosteroids, it may surprise you to learn that both cholesterol and estrogen are actually also considered steroids because they have the same four rings. But for the rest of the video, when I say steroids, I'm referring to the type of steroids that are predominantly used for enhancement purposes known as an anabolic androgenic steroid. This is a type of steroid that mimics the effects of testosterone in your body. Normally, your testes will produce four to nine milligrams of testosterone per day in an average healthy male. But by taking synthetic testosterone, you'll vastly increase the amount of testosterone that flows through your veins. Your body then treats that exogenous testosterone in the same way as if it were your body's own testosterone. So the testosterone enters your cells and binds to what's known as androgen receptors. From there, it binds to the nucleus of the cell and attaches to the DNA. This process activates hundreds of genes involved in stimulating protein synthesis and reducing protein breakdown. So as a result, your muscles are more likely to stay in a positive protein turnover rate, which benefits muscle growth because to build more muscle, more protein needs to be built up compared to the amount that gets broken down. Now, this is how steroids assist with muscle growth and why they're so popular amongst bodybuilders. Now, aside from improving protein turnover rate, anabolic steroids also increase the number of nuclei that are found within muscle cells. Those nuclei, which are actually called myonuclei, they happen to be the control center of each muscle. So having more nuclei is beneficial because the number of nuclei you have within a muscle is actually one of the primary factors that determine your potential for growth. Put it more simply, the more myonuclei, the bigger the muscle can become. And this is actually one reason why some people have better muscle building genetics because they naturally have more myonuclei while others don't. You see, the nuclei in your muscle fibers are limited to a maximum region of the cell that they can control. This is an area known as the myonuclear domain. Once the growth of the particular muscle fiber exceeds this domain, the only way to further grow is to add new nuclei to that cell. And that process is called myonuclear addition. Now the problem is that normally it takes a lot of time to add new nuclei to a muscle. That's why you can't gain 20 pounds in let's say one month. But by taking steroids, you can gain muscle much faster because it significantly increases the speed at which your body can add new nuclei to muscle tissue. And once it's there, the new nuclei remains in your muscle tissue for the rest of your life. We can see this play out in studies in which steroids were given to mice. Three months after stopping the use of steroids, the mice had their muscle mass returned to normal, but the extra nuclei stayed there. That's why taking steroids not only increases muscle mass in the short term, but it can also increase the amount of muscle that you can build and maintain for the rest of your life. So even if someone that once took steroids stopped taking steroids, they would most likely lose some mass, but their muscles would still have a higher number of myonuclei, which would mean they would still have a higher potential for growth than they did before they ever took the steroids. This is actually why some people in the sports world believe that if an athlete that participates in a drug-free competition gets caught using steroids, that athlete should be banned for life because they would have an unfair advantage that would still persist even after stopping the steroids. So with all that said, it's pretty obvious that steroids are very effective at stimulating muscle growth. We can see exactly how effective they are by looking at a 10 week long study where 43 men were divided between four groups. Group number one was not given any steroids and they didn't exercise at all for the duration of the study. And as expected, they experienced no changes in muscle mass. Group number two also didn't exercise, but the difference was they were given 600 milligrams of testosterone every week. So they wound up gaining seven pounds of muscle. Then the third group wasn't given any testosterone, but unlike group number one and two, they actually did lift weights, which led them to gaining an average of four pounds of muscle. Finally, the fourth group was given the 600 milligrams of testosterone each week while also lifting the weights, which led to 13 pounds of muscle growth. So to summarize, taking testosterone combined with working out produced over three times more muscle growth in 10 weeks than training without the testosterone. 
Now, aside from boosting your body's ability to build muscle, steroids can also help your body burn more fat. While researchers don't conclusively know how steroids assist with fat loss yet, there are three ways that steroids could help. First, they might simply boost your metabolism. Second, they could increase the rate that fatty acids are released from your fat cells and increase fat oxidation as well. And the third possibility is that steroids might help prevent the creation of new fat cells. We can clearly see the effects of steroids on fat loss in action when looking at a randomized controlled double-blind study where scientists blocked the natural testosterone production of healthy young men with something known as a GnRH agonist. And don't worry about the name, the point is it was used to cause the men to stop producing natural testosterone. From there, the scientists treated them with one of five doses of testosterone enanthate, which is an anabolic steroid. Those doses were either 25, 50, 125, 300, or 600 milligrams per week. And the results were very impressive. As you can see on the graphs, there was a close correlation between the amount of testosterone given and the changes in body fat over the course of 20 weeks. While the low testosterone group gained fat, those who received high amounts of synthetic testosterone significantly reduced their total body fat percentage, especially the amount of fat that they carried around their waist. In other words, steroids significantly boost both muscle growth and fat loss. But even with those benefits, there are a couple crucial things to understand about steroids and what they can do to your body. One of those is, like I already mentioned, taking synthetic testosterone shuts down natural testosterone production, which can cause your testicles to become smaller. Not only might that be unpleasant from an aesthetic perspective, but it can also impair sperm production and have a significant impact on your fertility. For example, Professor Alan Pacey is the head of andrology, which is a medical science that focuses heavily on male reproductive health. And in an interview, he said that more steroid users are likely to become infertile than you would think, estimating that it's probably around 90%. And even though quitting steroids can reverse those effects in some men, that's not the case for all men. Sometimes steroid use can cause permanent damage to a man's fertility. On top of that, steroids can also negatively impact your body in other serious ways, such as by causing cardiovascular health problems. The National Institute on Drug Abuse points out that steroid use is associated with high blood pressure, a decreased function of the heart's ventricles, and serious life-threatening issues like heart attacks, artery damage, and strokes are possible even in athletes younger than 30. The belief is that steroids contribute to the development of heart disease by increasing LDL or bad cholesterol while decreasing HDL or good cholesterol and also raising the risk of blood clots forming in blood vessels. Another issue is that steroid misuse can lead to liver damage. That liver damage can cause jaundice or the yellowing of the skin and eyes. When steroids are misused, it can also lead to tumors and a rare condition where blood-filled cysts form in the liver. And those cysts can eventually rupture, causing internal bleeding and even death in some rare cases. Aside from those more serious side effects, steroids may also stimulate more aggressive behavior for some people. Some people won't be impacted at all, but we do have examples of studies that have shown that up to 60% of anabolic steroid users can experience increases in irritability and aggressiveness. Steroid use can also lead to skin problems. For example, it can cause acne, hair loss on the head, cysts might form, and it can also lead to oily hair and skin. Also, it goes without saying that the steroids do need to be injected, so you may also get infections or experience pain and tenderness around injection sites. Another big fear that many bodybuilders have to deal with is the possibility of stimulating gynecomastia, also known as man boobs. This is a common adverse side effect of steroid use, with about 37% of users having gynecomastia. Men that take steroids are more likely to experience gyno because their body will convert some of the excess testosterone that they're taking into estrogen, which is the primary female sex hormone that can stimulate the formation of breast tissue. Also, if you ever decide to stop taking steroids, it might take months or even years before your natural testosterone production returns back to normal. And in some people, the damage is permanent. This means that after quitting steroids, you'll most likely not only lose a lot of the muscle that you built and regain much of the fat that you lost, but you might also end up with other symptoms of low testosterone. Examples include depression, low energy levels, poor memory, low self-esteem, and erectile dysfunction. So yes, steroids do come with the risks of some serious side effects that might not make it worth your while. 
So that about wraps it up, guys. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, the good news is that it is totally possible to build plenty of muscle and to get super lean with or without steroids. And if you need any help along your journey, me and my team can definitely help. We've helped over 15,000 people make a dramatic transformation and change their lives for the better. So. If you think that you can benefit from having a coach that'll help customize an eating plan and a workout plan based on your body and your goals, then click the link in the description below and get started. You can also get there directly by going to gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.